we ended our last conversation with you saying that it is only the ones who have everything that can actually play. Because the one who is full before he arrives is the one that asks for nothing from the game. And when a human being has no need, he is free. And when he is free, he becomes untouchable, which leads to this whole idea of being legendary that you continue to talk about. Unpack that for me a little bit. I think everyone looks at uh, their craft and, and their sport and their business and whatever their pursuit is as a place uh, from which to get something. Um, it's sort of a, a wishing well of sorts. And that, that creates a lot of problems because the field, the, you know, the, the field of play doesn't really have any power to give anybody anything. So everyone, you know, tends to have, in general, um, a hole that they're trying to fill. And that hole is filled by success or by wins or by money or by status, um, whatever it may be. And that, that really creates an enormous problem because then they're beholden to the outcome uh, to decide how it is that you feel about yourself. So that means that how you feel about yourself and what your state of so-called happiness or joy or peace, whatever it is, is always in the hands of someone else or something else. And that's really slavery. So one of the things we've talked about in the past is your ability to let go of the outcome, right? To have the mindset that to approach any endeavor with having the outcome being a byproduct of the pursuit. It's tough as hell to get to that, especially when you got a lot riding on the line, whether you're in sports or in business. Where do you start to get to that level? Well, it's tough to get, it's tough to get to that if you are viewing it as a prescription. It's not so tough to get to that if you come to the conclusion that you have no other choice. Everything is tough when it's viewed from, from the standpoint of a prescription. Uh, it's not only tough, it's virtually impossible because you're doing it because of a should. And, you know, if, you know, you, you might be able to give away some secondhand clothing uh, by way of a should, but you're not going to give away the family jewels by way of a should. So for you to give away the family jewels, you must see no other option. You're not going to do it because it's good for you or because uh, the rule book says that you should. 